channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a hair routine. I'm going to be doing from curly to straight. I haven't straightened my hair in quite a while. If I remember correctly it's probably almost going on a year. So I decided to just do my hair because I'm also tired of doing it. <laughs> so I decided to just straighten it. And I wanted to bring you guys along on that journey because I've never done this before and when I do straighten my hair I get so many questions about how do I get my hair so straight and silky and smooth so I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this video and show you step by step how I straighten my hair and how I get silky smooth dresses <laughs> so I've already washed my hair it has been shampooed and conditioned um, and it right now it's still a little bit wet but that is okay because um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray um, some heat protectant spray inside of my hair so what I like to make sure that I'm doing is always putting in heat protectant spray because you don't want to mess up the curls, guys. You just don't want to mess up the curls and have breakage and all kinds of stuff and just frying your hair in general. That's a big, big no-no. And I'm trying a new heat protectant spray. It's called Bondi Boost. This is what it looks like. And I got this from Ulta. So I'm just going to start off by spraying my hair with this and then I'm going to make sure that I just go ahead and take a comb and comb it through So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and start to blow dry my hair. The blow dryer that I use is just a regular Conair blow dryer. This has been my go-to for years, so why switch it up if it works, you know? And when I'm blow drying my hair, I just typically start by just blow drying everything all together and then I'll go in to smaller sections and I'll do so with my spiral brush here just to help make sure that my hair gets really straight. So now that I went ahead and done that, I'm going to go ahead and do it in smaller sections with the brush. Okay guys, so my hair is completely dry now. Um, this is what it looks like when it's blow dried. So what I like to do next is use my Sleek and Shine um, serum. This is a serum from Garnier. This is my holy grail, you guys. I love using this serum. It works really, really good. A little bit goes a long way. So um, I like to put this on my hair once it's blow dried so I can get ready um, to flat iron my hair just so um, I don't have any frizz and my hair has a really nice shine to it once it's flat ironed. So it's the Garnier for Tea Sleek and Shine Instant Sleek Anti-Frizz Serum. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all throughout my hair. Literally that much. Not much at all. Rub it in. And 
just go from the bottom, the top, separate it, get on the inside, make sure I get upwards, get these edges, because <laughs> that's where you don't want any frizz, and go like this. And now that I've done that step, I'm going to heat up my flat iron. And I don't use any type of special flat iron. I use the Golden Hot Flat Iron. This works so good on my hair. This is cheap and cheerful and it gets your hair slick, bone, straight. It goes all the way up to 450, but there's no, no, I'm not gonna put 450 heat on my hair. <laughs> so I usually just flat iron my hair around 375 at the most. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up at. So when I straighten my hair, I also like to use a rat tail comb. These are super duper cheap. They're probably like 75 cents at a beauty supply store. No more than a dollar. But I like to use this when I'm straightening my hair just so that I can make sure that my hair gets really, really straight and I'm getting all of the strands that I can. Part my hair. I like to start my hair from the back and the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair into sections again. I also want to see how long it takes me to flat iron my hair, so I'm going to time myself. I'm going to guess it's going to take me around 45 minutes because I'm really a pro, you guys. Like, I am for sure a pro, so <laughs> it should not take me that long. Start now. What I like to do first is go over with the flat iron just like this. And I typically go over my hair probably about a few times. And you wanna make sure that you get really close to your scalp. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go like this. Just like that. So that is one piece. And I just do this throughout my whole head. But I did just realize I forgot to spray a little bit more heat protecting spray, so I'm going to I'm going to do that right now. Not too much, just a little spritz, so I get that extra protection. So now I'm gonna continue doing this, and let's see how long it takes. So I want to show you guys some quick progress that I've made. I finished the whole half of my head and we are at, let's see, 18 minutes and 47 seconds. Blech. 18 minutes and 47 seconds. So this is what my hair is looking like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do these two sections and it shouldn't take me that long at all.
Okay guys, so I've finished my hair and let's check the time. 31 minutes and 25 seconds. That's a record. <laughs> And I'm sure it's because my hair is super short. This is what my hair looks like. Super silky, shiny, bouncy. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. So now I just have a few more steps that I do once I've finished straightening my hair. So what I like to do is I'll take a little bit more of my sleek and shine and I'll use it for my flyaways but I won't put too too much because what I like to do is to preserve my hair I'll wrap my hair at night and then it's always super flat and um, straight no flyaways the next morning so I only put just a dab a little bit on my hands and then I'll put it all throughout my hair just to get rid of hairs that stick up <laughs> So I'm just going to take a little, little pump, just like that, and I'll put a little bit up top, and then mostly it's going in the front, like on my edges, and then I'll just take a swig throughout my hair. And then what I like to do is go over my hair one more time on the top and in the front. And I'm not sure if you guys could tell throughout the video, like if you can see the smoke, but literally my heat is on 350. Like I don't know why it looked like it was super smoky, but <laughs> I'm not over here frying my hair like crazy. The first day I have, I always have like flyaways. I'll leave it as is. Um, I'll never put anything here because since my hair is so fine, it usually gets oily probably within a week so and I don't even like to keep my hair straight longer than a week so um, it always ends up working out here's the final look um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below let me show you guys the back and it's actually a pretty nice length like I'm really loving how long my hair is right now it's like the perfect length um, that concludes today's video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I will also make sure that I link everything that I did use today down below so that um, you guys can purchase them for yourselves if you'd like so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye